publicly funded Catholic charter school in the U.S is now approved in Oklahoma. It could be one of the biggest decisions in a nationwide push to incorporate faith into public school systems. And it renews the debate over who has the final say regarding what students learn. Stephanie Haynes is joining us right now live to explain all of this. And, and I think a lot of people would question whether they're for it or against it. Is this constitutional? Well, Adrian, that is certainly the question that is going to come up in court as certain groups have already indicated they would like to challenge this, saying as you are questioning, does this violate the First Amendment, the separation of church and state? Three members of this Oklahoma Charter School Board say it doesn't. I took an oath to follow the Constitution of the United States of America to the best of my ability, and I'm going to do that in a, this vote, which is a yes vote. So I would like to move that we consider formally move that we consider this application from St. Isidore. A second. The state superintendent and the governor of Oklahoma support this approval. It's the latest decision in a broader push among conservative lawmakers nationwide to incorporate more religion in public schools. And part of the reason of this is thanks to several Supreme Court decisions last summer, one of which overturned part of the what's called lemon test, which determines whether a government law or action violates the First Amendment. In Texas, a bill requiring Ten Commandments be displayed in every classroom made significant progress in the state legislature, but ultimately didn't pass. And in Utah, one school district has banned the Bible from its bookshelves while it considers one parent's complaint about violence and vulgarity. And all of this raising the question, Adrian, as you mentioned all morning, who should have the final say about what your student learns in school? In an exclusive News Nation Decision Desk HQ poll, a survey of 1,000 nationwide voters shows when it comes to deciding what gets taught in public schools, 26% believe it's the State Board of Education and 25%, so neck and neck, believe parents have the ultimate authority. Public schools are designed to impart secular education, not religious education. We have a lot of religions in the United States, hundreds, maybe thousands of different denominations. And parents can teach those to their children at home or working through the house of worship of their choice. But the public school system isn't really a good vehicle for that. That school, that charter school in Oklahoma would reportedly open in the fall of 2024 and serve about 500 students K through 12 across the state of Oklahoma. It would be a Catholic uh, public charter school. And Adrian, we are still looking into how much taxpayer money would go to this. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting conversation because obviously parents get to choose where they send their kids to school. But taxpayer dollars, that's another story. Let's pull up that full screen one more time again, Stephanie. Let's talk about this. Now, you mentioned the 26% of voters believe the State Board of Education to, should decide. But if you look down the list, seven more percent believe the federal government should decide. Two percent say the state governor, two percent say the state legislator, and two percent say something else. The local school board, 11 percent. If you combine all of those governmental agencies along with the 26 percent for the State Board of Education, parents are completely outnumbered. And a lot of moms and dads are fed up with feeling like they don't have a voice. I just thought we should point that out, even though those numbers are so close when you look at the top of the poll. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Adrian, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.